Dear friends, today we are going to understand a new concept that is LHR engines in detail. In the last few videos, we already discussed about the different things about the engine. We discussed the engine classification, we discussed the different engine types. We also discussed the different engine cycles like auto cycle and diesel cycle along with its derivation part. So today we are going to understand a new concept that is LHR engines in detail. So before going to understand LHR engines in detail, we must have to understand what are the different heat transfer sources through the engine. So we know in internal combustion engine, heat transfer is one of the basic problem or one of the basic difficulty in every IC engine. And because of that heat transfer takes place, there is always loss in the efficiency of the engine. So we know around one third of the input energy is converted into mechanical work and around one third is lost as heat in the exhaust gases. So this is very, very important statement. Around one third is the lost as heat in exhaust gases. So if you see the exhaust gases which will coming out from the silencer and that time when you are going to touch the silencer, it is very hot. Okay, means what is this? This is nothing but heat transfer from the engine. Similarly, at the different components of the engine, there is always some amount of a heat is there. When you are going to touch that component, it is always hot whenever the engine operation taken place. So that is nothing but called as a heat transfer. And around one third is lost as heat to cooling system through mechanical friction and heat transfer losses within the engine. Okay. So approximately half of the latter which equates to between 15 and 20 percent of the fuel input energy is lost to in cylinder heat transfer so this is very very important near about 15 to 20 percent of fuel input energy will lost because of the heat transfer inside the engine cylinder as well as the different components of the engine so that is heat transfer from the hot gases to the combustion chamber surface area this is one of the basic reason of heat transfer so clearly we can say there is a potential for improving engine fuel efficiency if we can able to reduce this particular heat loss and we can utilize either directly as a piston work or via increased exhaust gas enthalpies in a bottoming cycle okay so so to get solution here low heat rejection engines are to be introduced okay so what is the concept of low heat rejection engine so as we just discussed, heat transfer is one of the basic problem in every internal combustion engine and because of that uh, heat transfer taken place near about 15 to 20 percent uh, efficiency will reduce. Okay. So to minimize that here we can use a new technology and that technology is nothing but called as a LHR that is low heat rejection engines technology. So what is this LHR? So the main objective of low heat rejection technology engine is to eliminate the loss of energy through coolant by increasing the thermal resistance of the engine walls and ultimately increasing the efficiency of the engine. This is one of the objective. Yes, as we just discussed because of the coolant heat transfer takes place through the coolant itself. So we can reduce that things with the help of this low heat rejection engine technology. Okay, the second one, the second one is what? This is done by the thermal barrier coating. So how we can use this technology? Low heat rejection taken place with the help of a thermal barrier coating. So LHR is nothing but there will be a always a coating of this thermal barrier coating. What is the name of that coating? Thermal barrier coating on the different engine components like the piston crown top, cylinder liner, cylinder head inside and the walls as well as the cylinder walls also. So there should be a, always a kind of a coating 
to reduce the heat transfer inside the engine cylinder and this technology is nothing but called as the low heat rejection engine technology okay and that coating is nothing but called as a thermal barrier coating due to such kind of insulation of the cylinder wall the heat transfer through the cylinder walls to the cooling system can reduce and which will change in the combustion characteristics of the diesel engine normally we are using this particular technology in the case of diesel engine only this is not useful in the case of petrol engine because of its some limitations okay so this statement is again very important so basically the thermal insulation reduces the heat transfer and improves the thermal efficiency and increases the energy availability in the exhaust system so similarly when this particular thermal barrier coated engines are available in the market and this technology is nothing but called as a LHR engine technology that is low heat rejection engine technology so similarly if you see the different applications suppose aircraft application where the efficiency plays a vital role okay so if you see in the application why the aircraft engine the jet propulsion engine like this one and a different component has a structural alloys coatings okay and this coating will help to reduce the heat transfer inside the engine cylinder and because of this we can improve the efficiency of the engine so with the help of this right side diagram we can understand what will happen if the different components will be coated with some another material so the generally the polymer composites are present inside this one so aluminum titanium alloys are also there high temperature steels nickel cobalt super alloys are there so because of uh, such kind of a coating what will happen the very good oxidation resistance may happen then it will work as a thermal barriers to reduce the heat transfer rate then it will work as a abradable seals or erosion resistance and the low observable and again it will helpful to reduce the wear of the different components of the engine so that's why the coating is very essential and for uh, such kind of application where the efficiency is very very important and heat transfer rate is very high in that cases the engine components are coated uh, with the help of the different materials so this is nothing but called as a low heat rejection engines where the thermal barrier coatings are present on the different engine components so hope you understand this particular uh, thing about uh, the new technology coming in the engine terminology so hope you understand this one so thank you so much for watching our today's session